This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F350 Crew Cab Dual Rear Wheel. It's a 6 0 turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. It's the FX4 off road suspension package. And it has extremely low miles 77,746 actual miles. Uh, it was a, a dealer trade in in Anaheim. Uh, we purchased the truck. My guys are in inspection. This is what the inspection looks like. Um, they hand me this beautiful truck, runs and drives great, very low miles, repaired tear in driver's seat and did a detail and <laughs> beautiful truck, obviously. Um, aside from a few little touch-ups on the uh, passenger bedside, there's not much to talk about here. Um, this is a beautiful truck, They're very low miles. I'm gonna walk around. If I do see something that's wrong cosmetically, I will point at it and then you could look at it closer like this, there's a couple of chips here. Um, you can look at it closer in the photo gallery uh, if you'd like. Um, when I get around this truck, I will show you the uh, Kelly Blue Book, I will show you the Carfax, um, and then I will uh, go under the hood with the truck running and uh, take off the oil cap, look for blow by, we'll look for Ford stamps on the fenders and on the uh, uh, core support, which would tell you that they're original parts and nothing's been replaced, which is what happens when you crash something. Uh, the parts are just prohibitively expensive to uh, replace with Ford parts, so they don't. So when you see those Ford stamps, you know that it's fine. And if you don't, which happens, then I'll tell you and we'll show you. So this is a touch up right here. See a little scrape right here? And I think there's another one like right here, just a little line. But as you can see, it really kind of blends in because it's white. But these videos aren't designed to uh, sell you a truck. It's to make sure that the right person buys the truck. It's more of our interviewing you than you buying the truck. Uh, we'll have 800 to 1,000 people a day see this truck online. And we need to make sure that whoever buys it, because they're most likely, 6 out of 10, ship out of state, that uh, when they get the truck, they're uh, happily surprised instead of the opposite. It's gotta be nicer than we told them it was and not worse. Uh, and the only way to do that is to make sure that we show you the bad stuff. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately on this truck, it's a little hard to find bad stuff. The tires on the front look great. The rears look like they're about 20% tread. I guess that could be a bad thing. Um, but when that's the bad part, you've got a winner. So, there you go. All right, let me fire this guy up. Get some air conditioning going here, first of all. Seventy-four thousand seven hundred and forty-nine miles. All right. Here's the Kelly Blue Book for a F three fifty Crew Cab short bed dual rear wheel, seventy-two thousand miles. Typical listing price for this truck would be $26,402 with a range of $23,300 to $27,400. Okay, here's the Carfax itself. There's the VIN. No accident damage reported. Uh, Carfax one owner. There's the last reported mileage at $72,746, which was three miles ago, so that's pretty fresh. Uh, 9 12 of 19 is the date of the uh, Carfax, which was yesterday, late yesterday. Ba -ba -bum. Low miles means a short Carfax, right? It says uh, damage to rear. I wonder if that's that scratch on the uh, on the rear, um, whatchamacallit, the rear fender over the wheels. I'll bet it is. They probably went into a tree and called the insurance company and asked for a check and they said no and then they reported it which is a lesson to people don't call people to fix it who are gonna put it on your carfax not very smart because obviously nothing's been replaced on this truck in the rear end it's all factory so and it wasn't an accident reported there was no police report so it was some guy ratting his own car out there's a ford stamp there Ford stamp there. Ford stamp where they belong there. There's the stamp on the hood. Stamp on the fender. No blow by at all. 
which is what you would expect from such a low-mile vehicle that's been serviced well. There's your window up and down, door locks. Okay. Heated seat on and off. Seat forward and back. Down. Up. Rear up. Rear down. Front up. Front down. That works fine. Nothing going on there. Any secrets there? No. You have a manual here. Should be a wheel lock key. Yep. Good to go there. Window, window, window. Oh, this truck is nice. Nothing going on here at all. Door locks, perfect. Mirror, out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, and down. You can see it on and off. Seat forward. This is the seat where you re-repair. You can see that this insert looks like looks like this insert and this insert are new. Seat back and forward, up and down, tilt up and down, rear up and down. Got adjustable pedals up and down. Those work fine. Tilt wheel. Perfect. This truck is nice. Really nice truck. All right. Get a seatbelt on here. Let's see. First thing I notice. Well, first of all, I want to get some air conditioning. It's freaking hot in here. Oh, there we go. All right. First thing I notice is it's got a uh, oil change sticker on it. It says next oil change at seventy six thousand three seventy eight. And it's at 72.7, so it just had its oil change with 5W40 synthetic. Okay, so there you go. Um, rear window. Boom. Let's see. <laughs> Exterior temperature 79. Maybe we're in the shade. It ain't 79 outside, I can tell you that. Um, that's wrong. There's your steering control fan, uh, settings. Temperature up and down, fan up and down. Main controls, up, down, that works fine. Boom, that all works fine. Boom, boom, boom. Toe, right there in the middle, on and off. On and off, right? That's me doing that, just so you know. Boom, on, off. All right, uh, let's see, what else? We got cruise control, we have radio. Steering controls. Career. Manual controls. That works fine. It's just, just changer, obviously. Uh, we put it in neutral. Put it into four low. Let's go forward here. Try not to take the whole building down. That's in four low. In reverse. Thankfully, it doesn't have. 
have, uh, see, now it's a low range, it'll go to four high now, okay? Fortunately, uh, it doesn't have parking sensors. I hate parking sensors. Parking sensors and tire monitors suck. Worst invention ever. Backup cameras are okay. <laughs> But uh, the other stuff, let's do a system check. Engine okay, engine temperature okay, transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, air filter okay, 62 miles to empty, systems check complete. 72,749 miles, all right? Let's go for a drive. My brother's out here doing uh, photos for a truck place that truck with this truck here in a minute all right if you come to Tucson and drive it home you will pay the following you will pay our uh, city tax of 2.7 percent plus your state tax whatever that is and a $250 dock fee so it'll be your state tax plus our city and a $250 dock fee if you pay by wire and ship out of state all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price there'll be no dock fee no taxes uh, just the price once we receive full payment by uh, wire we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address uh, sign it off to you scan it in your online file and mail it to you we even scan in the envelope we mail it in all right you'll get the truck uh, delivered to you you already have the title from the mail so when the truck shows up you just take the title and the truck down to motor vehicles in your city and uh, get plates it's extremely easy all right um, let's see deposit deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Okay? Uh, once we have your deposit, put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you and everyone else will know that it's yours. Alright? Um, last part of every video, it really has no bearing on this truck because this truck is sweet. But, I say this on every single vehicle. This is the speech I give. Last two minutes of every video I do on every vehicle we sell. Okay? Um, we uh, don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have uh, a lounge, scones, the whole bit. They got salesmen. They got all that fun stuff to eat and sit out and hang out at the auto mall, right? About a mile that way. All right. They also have a really sweet location that they pay really high rent for. Uh, we don't have that either. We, you just saw our, where we are. We're in the industrial area. So you're not paying for uh, our location. You're not paying salesmen. You're not paying for lattes. Uh, they also know that if they sell you a vehicle and it breaks, you're gonna fix, they're going to have to fix it. Um, so they charge more for that too. So there's four things they charge for that we don't. We're not fixing your truck. Okay. If this truck breaks, whether it's day one or day 5,000, it's your truck. Get it fixed. Uh, you have saved tons of money because you're not paying for all that stuff. So, so I don't want to run these guys over. Oh, God. Yeah, these guys right here. Let's see? That would be bad. All right, now I can go. Um, anyway, you're saving a bunch of money because you're not paying for all that crap that you're paying for at the new car stores or a big uh, uh, brick and mortar independence. Because of that, uh, you can afford to fix your own truck and still own it way cheaper than you would own it buying it from them okay uh, we are not writing you checks for repairs uh, at any time of any for any reason okay um, if that doesn't work for you there's not a single vehicle in our inventory that we can sell you to make you happy because you know if a window motor breaks or the door lock stop working or the radio goes kaput or it needs an injector or anything uh, you're gonna call us and want to check and we're gonna say no and you're gonna be pissed. So don't buy from us if you need that check. If you need the honesty, uh, you need the Carfax, the Kelly Blue Book, what we know about it, great video, lots of photos, uh, everything that you could possibly know about a vehicle, then you're at the right place, all right? Anyway, let me, uh, I'm gonna have to make a little tight turn and try not to tear off the freaking fenders on this thing. Uh, yeah. This is gonna require some driving acumen here. Look at that. Look at that skill. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And it would appear that maybe... Right, anyway, I don't know if he's moving out of my spot for this photos, photos to be taken or not. I think he is. 
This is a beautiful truck, people. This is a really nice truck. If I had a big 25-foot uh, bay liner any, any longer, I would uh, be all over this truck. This thing will pull and it runs great. No blow-by, ice truck. We also, the price is gonna be low because of this. We have too many vehicles. We have like 11 or so more coming in this next couple days. This weekend, I think two or three, five or six on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we don't have any room. So my brother's gonna price this thing to sell uh, because of that also. So there's a fifth reason why. They have more room and we don't. <laughs> why we're cheaper than they are. I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.